In the previous video, we completed our parts and uh, the assembly, importing them to the assembly and assembling our bearings and our uh, working on putting them onto the board then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my fasten mate. I'm going to choose the back side of this, the center point, to the back side center point of that hole right there. I'm going to flip it on my axis, green check mark it. And what we can see now is I have my uh, two gears uh, there that should be able to revolve around here. And I did assemble them backwards, so I didn't get that uh, nub on it. So I'm going to pause for a second and put that nub on this side so you can see that the movement later on. So now that I move those nubs to the front, we're just going to come back up to my revolve mate. And we're going to choose that center point of that arc on the belt there. And we're going to come back up here. And we're going to choose that same center point. And I can solve that with the green check mark. Now we can see that that belt isn't on, so we can come over onto the other side. We're going to do that same revolve mate to that same center point here and green check mark it. If we've done it right and you made all your parts, it should come out perfectly like this. So the next thing we can see is if we spin this, we really don't get them moving. So we need to set up our gear relationships. So I'm going to come up here and go gear relationship here. And I want to do my uh, revolve one here to my belt itself. So now what we're going to see is we spin, but I need to set up that same relationship for my uh, gear here. Uh, I'm going to do that uh, revolve what am I at? Revolve two. And I believe it's going to go to my revolve three. Green check mark. And there we go. So now I can animate this. I can do it on a loop. And we can see that we're now working on that belt drive here and we're working. So I hope this helps as you're creating your belt drive.